another vlog. Thought we would just kind of get ready because I have a couple errands that I need to run today. And, you know, I don't really film get ready with me is when I'm about to leave the house. So I figured, you know what, today is the perfect opportunity. Today's makeup is really, I don't know, I guess you could say it's like really basic. It's just look kind of put together, but semi put together. Just gonna conceal the under eyes and, you know, make ourselves look presentable. Last time I vlogged was probably, well, technically I vlogged when I went to a Hobby Lobby the other week, but that was like a whole shop with me type of thing. And then prior to that, it was when we traveled back from Alaska to LA. When we got home, I really wanted to regroup, dive deep into my analytics and see what worked for me last year, what didn't work, focus on my goals for this upcoming year. And um, finally, I got my uh, pictures, which we are gonna be printing today for uh, my vision board. And yeah, it's like long overdue because I love doing that uh, every year and just having it visually, you know, my goals, what things you wanna manifest for the upcoming year. And I honestly, believe in it. I believe in manifestation. I believe in prayers. Good reminder every day on what things you want to accomplish. I have a bunch of errands that we need to run today and it's supposed to rain I think later on this evening and I know a lot of people like my girl Lizzie actually I'm rocking her merch if you haven't checked out the fine apple merch which is Lizzie what will Lizzie do I'm going to link her channel down below but I absolutely love Lizzie and she's like one of my closest friends we met because of YouTube which I think is so cool let's throw on some lip balm because my lips are so chapped this one is the elf ride or die lip balm which I've been really loving what shade is this tough cookie Hopefully they'll come out with one that has like a brush tip applicator so that you don't need to touch it, right? Wouldn't that be so awesome? Let's just throw on some mascara. The Revlon So Fierce Big Bad Lash Mascara. And I filmed a whole video, like a whole try-on video on these products from Revlon. If you haven't seen it, I will link it up in the card area right up here. Found out that they do have the waterproof version of this. But today I just wanted to see how this bad boy will do on my bare lashes. In that video, I was wearing a bunch of eyeliner, so it's kind of hard to see the mascara in action, you know, if it um, actually does anything. So I thought today would be a better way how to test it out. I'm gonna clean up that mascara on the lid, but that's okay. So, I mean, here's how it looks. Mascara, no mascara. Sometimes when the wands are too fat, it just gets all over the lid. <laughs> Sipping on some Trader Joe's green tea. So let's remove the mascara from the lid. Let's give one more coating of this. Mascara. It's good, but so used to wearing false lashes that I feel like false lashes just like complete me. Does that make any sense? Hold on, let's see. And I think to just kind of refresh in the skin, let's use the Derma E Hydrating Mist with Hyaluronic Acid because my skin has been really, really dry. I think that's it's good. Let's brush the hair. Okay, I was also going to crimp my hair for some waves, but we need to go because I have to go to the bank. We just have all these errands to run, and when it's raining later, I'd rather be home, so I'm just trying to like get this all done. I'll share with you really quickly one of my favorite combinations for fragrances, and this is the fragrance that I've been wearing all throughout December, and I don't think I even mentioned it in a video. Bath & Body Works Snowflakes and Cashmere Lotion. I ended up purchasing like the body spray and a couple other things because this is seasonal, but this fragrance is just to die for. It smells creamy type of fragrance. It's this fragrance, 
mixed with Bath and Body Works Champagne Toast Spray. Let's just spray this. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. These two already mm, delicious, but then you mix it in with Ariana Grande Cloud. Holy, the combination with these three, it is so, so, so good. When we were in Alaska, you guys remember Angel, which is my husband's cousin and Ina, my goddaughter, they would always ask, you know, what I was wearing and it was like this combination. It just smells so good. You have to try it, hold on. And I just recently purchased this large one. So, I mean, the smaller size one, which is the medium, is a lot easier to hold, but this one is, it's huge. I ended up purchasing a little four mini set of Ariana Grande's perfumes. I haven't tried any of her fragrances, and you know when you're in store, and especially now, since you can't really smell things when you're in store, so I decided to order these online, and then if I liked any of her fragrances, I could purchase the full size. It came with like a really small mini cloud perfume, and that was like the one I absolutely just fell in love with. These are okay, but the cloud, oh, it smells divine. Let's throw on my necklace because we need a little something, something. Okay, so update on the coffee maker from Hobby Lobby. This is the Bella dual serve coffee maker. And this one has like the, you know, you can put the K-cup or it also has a little filter. Where is it? Which is right here. I'm gonna be returning it today. This just does not work out for us. Every time I use this, the coffee grounds are always in the coffee, uh, which is a no-no. I've also tried putting a filter in this and still the same thing, not to fill it up past a certain line because then the coffee grounds might um, somehow spill over into the coffee. And, you know, I've tried doing that too, but the coffee just isn't strong enough. Um, I also tried one of these little reusable mesh pods. However, the amount of coffee, like for the type of strength we want for the coffee, it's just not strong enough. So unfortunately, this is gonna be going back. I think if you use like the K-Cups um, or if you don't really like your coffee too strong, um, this is a good option. But for us, it just wasn't working. And seriously, for three spoonfuls of coffee, use this little measuring spoon, one serving of coffee for uh, myself or for my husband. But if I use three spoonfuls in the regular coffee maker, we're able to fill it up all the way to six. So that's good for myself, my husband, and then my dad. He normally just puts water in here and runs it because he doesn't really like strong coffee. I'm curious on the electric tea kettle. It was really big. Comparing it to the ceramic tea kettle from last year, rather wait and just get another one of these. Hopefully whenever they do come out with one of the ceramic tea kettles again from Bella, especially the pink and white one, on the hunt for the pink coffee maker, which now I'm regretting not purchasing it online because nobody seems to have it in store. So we're going back to our good old coffee pot. Just a little FYI, the company Bella has a two year warranty on all of their appliances from the date of purchase. If for some reason your product breaks, like this teapot broke and I was like so heartbroken because I absolutely love it. Send proof of the uh, receipt, like the date of purchase, where you purchased it. And you also have to send them some pictures and a little like 15 second clip on what's wrong with the product. And unfortunately this one, the um, switch is broken. They also need a picture of the model number of the appliance. And if it passes, then they can either send you a new item or they'll send you a check of the amount that you paid for the appliance. So we are home now, it's 9.19. I was about to stop by TJ Maxx. However, 
in our area, TJ Maxx is considered LA County and LA County has a curfew. I don't know if it's also for Ventura County because it seems like in Ventura County, like Ross, Home Goods, you know, all those other stores close at 9.30. I could be mistaken. I wanted to share with you really quickly a food haul because I'm gonna cook dinner and I'll show you a bit later what I ended up purchasing from Ross. Saw this at Walmart. It's a Java chip flavor cream Oreo. I love me some Oreos and Jonathan loves Java chip. It looks like it's gonna be good. Sounds like it's gonna be good. So I'll give it a try tonight. The Mission Wraps Garden Spinach Herb Tortillas. And I'm gonna go ahead and cook dinner since Jonathan is on his way home. Can someone tell me why? Every time I fall in love, it seems to be at the wrong time. You walked into my life, and I knew right then and there I wouldn't get you off my mind. But then I looked you up, the visuals, and your arms all cute and stuff. You got someone who sounds freaking up. Why does my Jonathan is happy that the old coffee maker is back because he absolutely did not like that other coffee maker. Jonathan is not gonna try this because he said he's full, but you know me. My motto is definitely there's always room for dessert. We're gonna try the Java Chip Flavor Cream Oreo. This actually smells like a candle from Bath & Body Works. Hmm, I forgot to ask. Do you eat the filling first and then the cookie? I think it's actually okay. It's pretty good. You rate this a nine out of 10. Let's eat one more. One more Oreo. Okay, this is a prime example of why I don't like to have cookies or like sweets in the house because when it's there self-control is out the door early 2000s i was a huge 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 fan of juicy couture i think i still have an og juicy couture tote bag that's somewhere in the garage i actually have another item let me get it this is one of the og juicy couture uh, travel makeup bags and it's really like I mean honestly look at it it's pretty bad shape it's pretty much beat up already but I just could not part with it because it is really cute and when you open it, it says right here on the mirror I am the fairest and then inside here it kind of has their story of how Juicy Couture started once upon a time in a land far, far away called Pacoima, there were two nice girls who set out to create the perfect girly collection. Juicy Couture swept the land and they lived happily ever after. This so gleamy hair shine mist. I mean, this thing is old. It's old, but it smells like Couture. <laughs> I'm still a huge fan of the original Juicy Couture fragrance charm bracelets and yeah it's like in bad shape but i love this one because it's a mirror it says jc it has the heart this one is a nail polish jeweled pear lavender crystal which is definitely like an og type of thing oh look at the nail polish it says juicy and then on the other side it says couture nail polish we know how old it is remember i tried to fix this because it broke but it's another charm bracelet this one has a sandal it says juicy a pearl juicy heart another little crystal a pearl i think i'm taking you the wrong way this is a charm it says juicy couture and you have a cupcake and unfortunately this cupcake came apart and I tried to like fix it so that's why it's kind of like all messed up on the side I tried to weld it together and you have the little juicy couture crown flip-flops keep them here for display and on the side it says 
Smells like couture. I've had these for a long ass time and then it even has the little charm, the J charm on the side with the bow, a pin. Backstory written on the inside, J charm here and then a pin. It's nostalgic and I just think it's pretty for display so I always keep it over here by my mirror. Vintage Juicy Couture sunglasses and I mean look the it's in pretty bad shape, I will say that. But I've had these for a long time, and then when you open it, it says Shades of Couture. And then these are the sunglasses, which I guess they're kind of like those, are they like aviator? Not really aviator. Sunglasses, and it says Juicy Couture on the side. It's like the brown tortoise. Let me throw this on. It covers this whole area. Juicy Couture still is around, but now I see more items popping up. Ross had all of these really, really cute hand sanitizer wipes. And I mean, come on. I mean, the packaging is just so cute. It says Juicy Couture um, Los Angeles, and they're just hand sanitizing wipes. It would have been a major, major plus if it was scented like Juicy Couture, but it smells like straight up alcohol. At Ross today, these were on clearance. It's another pack of hand sanitizing wipes. This was on clearance for $1.49 and just decided to pick it up so I can put this in the glove compartment of my car. I'm trying to find more of these, but they did not have them. I guess everybody, you know, picked them up because you could just completely refill this, right? It's, the packaging is everything on this. Finding for a very, very good price, $5.99. Stud earrings, heart shaped. And then it even says on the side, hopefully you can see it, but it says Juicy Couture. This was $8.99. I found uh, this charm bracelet. The chain here, it says Juicy, which I really like. Then you have the heart, it says Juicy Couture. The only big difference is that this does not have a back to it. So it's just the front portion where you have the heart. It would have been nice if it was like a full heart, but unfortunately it's not. Let me just share with you the very last item, which I'm very happy about, and it's perfect for my vision board. And it's uh, this set of two floating frames. And this is from Ross. It was only $14.99. This one, I'm going to keep the quote, which says, make your dreams happen. But then I'm just gonna place some of the um, pictures like the collage pictures I want to put I'm gonna put it around here and then on the other one I'm going to place the other pictures as well alright Jiggy so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here I hope you enjoyed hanging out today it was pretty chill just running errands and you know chatting with you comment below if you have been or are you a new fan of Juicy Couture? Have you guys picked up any items? If you are like an OG Juicy Couture fan, comment below your favorite item. You know, is it a tracksuit, purses, jewelry? Hope you enjoyed this vlog and hanging out with me today. If you did, please make sure you give this vlog a like. Subscribe if you have not already. Would love for you to be a part of the Chicky crew. Thank you, Chicky, so much for watching. Stay safe and healthy. And I will see you in the next vlog.